Welcome to a new episode of Run on the Way. Come with me on my first trip to Cairo and see the pyramids of Giza. Learn more about the bottlenose dolphins and enjoy some of the best marine life shots I collected during the past weeks. I am Ronnie and this is my new series Run on the Way. Fully packed with lots of good tunes on my phone, I took a six hour bus ride to Cairo. It was my first time and because I was not in a hurry, I thought one week should be more than enough to get to know the city and its people. Compared to other big cities I have visited, the traffic was pretty much the worst I've seen so far. And it took me a while to get used to it that a red light doesn't really mean anything here. You really have to walk in on the cars, otherwise you will be waiting forever. Back in my hostel I met my new roommate Carlos from Argentina. We got along great from the beginning and had fun exchanging some language like Weizen. Carlos, tell me again Weizen. 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 No, Weizen. <laughs> Weizen. Okay, Weizen. so he's from Argentina and he cannot speak Weizen, but it's okay, he can drink like German. <laughs> Weizen. <laughs> Together we immersed into Cairo's traffic by taking the local bus to the Citadel. The citadel houses a number of museums, ancient mosques and other sites. The central dome is 52 meters high, resting on four large arches, supported by massive piers. Carlos and I sat down a few minutes and simply enjoyed this site. Later we continued to some of the viewpoints around the citadel. Overlooking the town, we saw already the highlight of Cairo. The Pyramids. Our full day tour led us to Saqqara's Step Pyramid and Memphis, the old capital. Before we arrived at the Giza Pyramids, our guide already went with us through a few thousand years of history and showed great passion in making our tour fun and interesting. <laughs> you drink ice. <laughs> no worries, we take your share. <laughs> we were looking for that spot from where you can see all six pyramids together and decided to make a little field trip through the desert. The tour schedule at our back, we didn't have much time but enough to make these shots. Excited that we found the picture we was looking for, we almost forgot about the Sphinx. On the way, our guide explained us more about the way these sites were built. Like these complicated shaped blocks, Through the masses of tourists, we catch some last shots of the Sphinx before the sun was too low. It was a great full day trip and Carlos and I were looking forward to decompress with some beers. Carlos later continued his travel through Egypt and I spent my last days browsing around town. It was a fantastic trip, 
but I also was happy to get back in the water. We had some pretty good weather the past weeks and the dolphins were also in a mood to play. Sometimes we just left from the jetty and they were following us on the way to our dive site. Seeing them like this in the wild made us already excited to go diving with them. The bottlenose dolphins are the most common members in the Red Sea and I thought I use this episode to tell you more about them. They typically form groups from 10 to 30 animals called pods and often work as a team to feed on smaller fish. Newborn calves always stay close to their mother, not only for protection and milk, but also to save energy by riding in their mother's slipstream. The babies are always in the mood to play, like you can see here, as it was speeding and circling around me. I had a hard time catching up with it, to keep it in the frame of the camera. Moments like this are simply magic and make my dives unforgettable. Bye bye little dolphin, it was awesome playing with you, maybe see you next time. I am gonna stop talking now and let you enjoy the rest of this episode with some of the best shots of the marine life. Hope you liked this episode and stay tuned for the next one, where I will show you more of Egypt's shipwrecks and we take a walk around Hogada. I am Ron the Way. Hey!